Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon is a really strange thing to quantify. It's not DLC, it's not an expansion. It's standalone, but it isn't even its own thing, really. Blood Dragon is a standalone $15 downloadable title, but it borrows pretty much all of its design and systems from Far Cry 3. The island, the running, the jumping, the shooting, the new elements are a crazy 80s cyber dream world. Blood Dragon has a laughably convoluted plot. Set in an alternate future world of 2007 after total nuclear annihilation, Blood Dragon sees Rex Power Cult sent to solve the mysteries of an island full of cyborgs, mutants, and VHS tapes. Whether it's borrowing from John Carpenter, or James Cameron, or John McTiernan, or every Arnold Schwarzenegger movie before 1990, all of this is right up my alley, though I kinda wonder how much you're gonna get it if you were born after 1989. Blood Dragon starts with the basic structure of Far Cry 3 and simplifies it quite a bit. It's less about shooting, and it's more about navigating the environment. Even down to the way that you take out enemies, which can be as much about using a rock or, in this case, a D20 to distract them as it is walking into the front door and blowing everybody away. On the bright side, Blood Dragon's weapons are a lot more fun to use than the ones in Far Cry 3. You've got a shotgun, you've got a minigun, you've got a laser rifle, you've got a laser bow. You get very powerful tools very quickly, and over the course of the game, there's an escalation and destruction that wasn't as prevalent in Far Cry 3. In a strange sort of move, Blood Dragon takes out the crafting and upgrade system that was such a key part of Far Cry 3 in favor of an experience system that gives you very predefined upgrades at every level. You'll get some new abilities like you can do a death from above move or you can fall an unlimited amount of time or you'll get unlimited oxygen while you're underwater. But rewards for missions are now just money or a weapon upgrade. There are a variety of mission types in Blood Dragon that are taken pretty liberally from Far Cry 3. There are hunting missions, there's scientist rescue missions, but there's not enough margin of error for getting them done in a way that isn't irritatingly trial and error. Garrisons serve as control and resupply points when the way that you unlock them is by killing all the enemies inside. Pretty much everything in the world is a tool to get that job done, and that includes the Blood Dragons. The titular mutant nightmares are somewhere between a Gila monster and Godzilla firing lasers out of their eyes. While you encounter them around the world, the main purpose of them is to use them as a weapon against your enemies. As you kill cyber commandos, you're harvesting cyber hearts from their bodies and you can use these to draw the attention and attraction of Blood Dragons. Watching the Blood Dragons at work may be the best part about the game. They shoot helicopters out of the air, or eat enemy soldiers, or even lay down and take a nap once they've completely annihilated an entire garrison's army. Aside from the references and in-jokes to 80s culture, there's a lot of slapstick humor on display in Far Cry Blood Dragon. Story missions alternate between Escape from New York style infiltration missions like taking a dam or infiltrating a bunker, and full-on completely idiotic commando style assaults on entrenched positions with miniguns or lasers or even more Blood Dragons. The story missions generally have enough gimmicks and new things to see and do that they're entertaining the first time through, but they're less open with more humor and they sort of rely on that to keep the game going. Ubisoft Montreal's biggest mistake might be calling this game Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, because in comparison to a full retail title, Blood Dragon struggles. It loses a lot of the systems that made Far Cry 3 such an effective, cohesive open world game. But as a standalone downloadable title, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon is a wildly ambitious open world shooter that succeeds at being smart and fun.